Remembering those early thrills Rock and roll isn't dead It's only dormant for a little while Shaved eyebrows and cigarettes Dilated tie and shaggy hair Ronson playing buzz through his guitar No one ever told you how Mickey Mouse is such a cow you can dry your eyes, the movie's over You'll never go to your room Where everything remains the same It was fun, but now it's over you never turn on the lights God knows I'm trying to be good I am just contemplating Taking action every now and then We slip and fall I'm not one to judge Don't take me there do 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 da 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 la da da di da 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 la di di da da la di da 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 la di da 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 Walking through the marketplace I sure could use a little change But no one wants to lend a helping hand No money for the madness show No shelter from the winter storm No one to help you make it through the night So many faces in the crowd Walking fast and walking proud Exchanging merchandise as you look on you never go to your room Where everything just stays the same It was fun but now it's over you never turn on the light God knows I'm trying to be good And I'm just contemplating Taking action every now and then We slip and fall I am not one to judge Don't take me there do da la la di da 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 la da da di da da la di di da la la da 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 la da 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 la di di da la la di da 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 la da 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 la di da 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 la da 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 la da da da. I'm John Blythe Barrymore, and the songwriter, musician you just heard from was Eloy Torres, who's joining me here right now. So, uh, where are you from? Oh, 
originally from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, from California. Well, my parents moved out here. I was about 13 mm -hmm. to Barksdale, and then I came to Los Angeles to go to art school, Otis Art Institute. Uh, so you, I've, I've heard you're a painter as well as a, a painter. Yeah, painter, artist. Uh, I've done a few murals uh, around the city and of Los Angeles. Uh, did you ever spend any time in the UK? No. Well, you know, you're singing. When you sing, uh -huh. you sound a little British. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've Is that because always. because you learned how to play the guitar because Beat the Beatles came uh, to town and played? You know, I'm part of that. What is it? Uh, that, that Generation. English, so am I. Yeah, 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 you know exactly, what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's like. I'm from New Mexico, um, I'm Latino, all the kids in our neighborhood, which is like, they say all Chicano Latino kids, we never heard so many kids speaking with an English accent. I see. So, you, so but it's only when you yeah. sing that you do that, right? Yeah. 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 It's, you know, it's, it sounds nice. Um, you've been here since you were, you know, a teenager, um, yeah. I we're, we were about the same age. Right? Yeah, I, I came to Los Angeles to go to art school, I was uh, 22. From, from Barksdale. You went to Otis. Mm -hmm. I think we have something in common with uh, uh, something we're going to meet shortly, uh, the painter okay. tonight. Uh, and uh, you've been writing songs for? Yeah, I, I, I paint. Um, have, you always, have, you, have you always been? Yeah, I, I've always, I, I'm my, my, the way my personality is, is I, my paintings are very um, labor intensive because um, uh, I layer a mm -hmm. lot of my my work has a there's a lot of layers involved, so I can work for about maybe three or four hours in that intensive state mm -hmm. of mind, and um, I, the guitar is always there. And so, when I take a break from painting, um, I have to do something, and it's kind of it's it's a certain part of the brain just almost overly saturated with this type of activity, and the guitar always kind of like the guitar is one thing, but but you panic. but you're a songwriter. When did you start um, writing songs? I, I probably eighty three, you know. Yeah, because when I was in art school, the whole punk thing happened, as you probably yes, know. Yes, yes. You know? be before then, it's like you have to be this incredible musician to get any kind of... Well, I don't know if that I was mean, it. I'm, I'm, I, I well, was a music major, thing, and I was working in the music thing, and, and the great. punk thing was a huge yeah, uh, it was fun. breath of fresh air for me. Yeah, it was fun, and uh, I mean, it, we all knew the chords, A, B, C, D, F, G, and if, yeah. you know, so it, it was easy to uh, to be creative with, uh, with, with that genre of music. Uh, just a minute. We're going to introduce our uh, our artist tonight, Claire Holzer, right? Yes. Did, didn't you spend some time at Otis as well? I took one class. Okay. Well, you, it's it's on your website. Yes. Uh huh. But primarily, you uh, you uh, you got into art because your father was an illustrator. Um. Yeah. I got um, my first set of oil paints when I was nine years old, and it was a gift from my father, and he had. Uh, he had a, um, a studio set up in the garage, and he was almost like a mad scientist. Besides the art, which I loved the smell of linseed oil, he also made like an oscilloscope. He made uh, like uh, crystal skulls. He was always like doing weird stuff in the Your garage. and I would have gotten along very well. Yeah. I, I built my own ham radio when I was uh, oh, okay. a teenager, yes. Uh, so you said both your parents were artists. Um, yes, my mother, uh, she got a bachelor's degree, I think, from Occidental in um, archaeology or anthropology. Mm -hmm. And uh, her specialty was uh, textiles. So she has a little in common with uh, Marcel. Well, so both, both of my parents were actors. So oh, okay. I commiserate. And if it's any, <laughs> if it's any consolation, yeah. according to a study by the Rand Corporation, only 15% of American families are functional, functional by the standard, standard definition. definition. So, so uh, the eccentric ones, ones we're, we, <laughs> we, we are, in this case, case normal. Yeah, well, I was always <laughs> encouraged to do art. And I think that a lot of people are told, you know, you can't be an artist. Uh, and I saw my dad as an example of somebody who made a living as an artist. Right. So and my family, family both actually, actually me, and my, my very famous, famous grandfather, grandfather and his brother, brother wanted to be artists and were not good enough. And they basically fell back on acting, because that was their family business. <laughs> so everybody wants what they can't have. So are you ever going to paint for us tonight? Um, I'm just kind of putting some colors out there right now. I have right. no idea what I'm going to end up doing a picture of. And we'll check back in. OK. Uh, from Spoken word artist, 
Tiger Moon. We are 15 years into the turn of the century, fighting for liberty, repeating history, creating philosophy annually to prove to our land how we long to be in the home of the free. But this land is not made for you or me. It's for our children to whom we owe an apology for this fallacy of reality. Because here we are in the belly of conspiracy and forever proof of freedom in duality for individuality. And to a degree, you could almost see our humanity is slipping through our democracy. Would you agree? Now, I know this brings controversy, this talk of bureaucracy and monarchy, this eventuality of ungodly and slavery. Well, pardon me, I just speak what I see, and sometimes I rhyme too much. <laughs> you know. <laughs> It used to be that honor and chivalry, chivalry was part of our dignity, but on the contrary, time is foolishly and deliberately formed an irony, a mockery of our sense of free. Is there a chance of recovering amidst the debris, the ash, unholy? Tell me that this mastery of trickery is not plastered all over TV, that we're not already systematically creating a documentary for World War III, that there's not a familiarity, a totality of painstaking lies that we keep calling casualties. Tell me as a human, there's no need to worry. I'll tell you what I think, though, honestly. It's time to form an assembly, a universal colony shit, and bite the whole galaxy, because we will stand for equality. We will prophetically, prophetically and aesthetically change the face of beauty, alter the scenery you see. We hold the key. Evidently, we were once a deity, preciously protecting the sacred tree, universally able to transcend consciously, and that's something no tyranny can take away from me. Fortunately, let us rise above the extremities that violently bend us on wounded knees. Because actually, there's a piece of sky in every flag that waves symbolically. And from sea to sun, to shining to to shining sea, those stars shine infinitely, reminding us of our destiny. You see, my camaraderie, it's all in the journey. Let us move on from extremities. Can you do that for me? It's as easy as one, two, three. It's as easy as rhyming poetry. Okay. Uh Come on over. Well, let's uh, let's chat. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, we we met once before. Yes. I saw you at uh, downtown that our chair. At an event that I at, think I was putting on, right? Uh, the Poets Perch? No, no, I saw you at, I think, Anna Broom's, uh, oh, yeah. Okay. At, at, at the place that I always get confused with this place, so I don't like to say it too much because I'll say that instead of this. Because one's uh, LA Art Stream, there was Art Chair LA, yes. Uh, but I was, I was very impressed. Uh, are you, you're going to do another piece for us, right? I don't know. I don't know if I can. Right. Uh, <laughs> No, he, he's the, pay no attention to them. Okay? They're Man paying no attention curtain. to us. Pay no attention <laughs> to them. Uh, this painting. So, is have you have you been? Uh, are you in Los Angeles for a long time? I've been here eight years. From Illinois and then Oklahoma. Wow. I, I lived on a reservation till I was nine and a half, and then I moved to Chicago, and then I kind of moved all around, all the way even up to Wisconsin, and then all the way south until almost Tennessee. I got my uh, master's. I got my bachelor's in Chicago and then moved there. And then kind of moved all over the place and then I ended up here. The reservation in Illinois or in Oklahoma? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, so you're, well, Native, uh, Native American. I, I, I hate that term because there's no such thing as Native American. You're just much, much, much earlier immigrants. Much earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, where in Oklahoma? Uh, right outside Tahlequah. I'm Choctaw, so the reservation is right on the edge of this town that's called Tahlequah. Okay, but you said your first nine years. You said yeah. El Illinois and then Oklahoma. No, no. Oklahoma, Oklahoma then Illinois. Then Illinois. Where in Illinois? Uh, my mom moved to Chicago yeah. to get a job. 
and be close. Mm -hmm. And then we lived there, and then we kind of just moved out to the suburbs, like north. Mm -hmm. And then I moved. A so you bit came south. to LA to um, well make I your fortune in I'm show business. I'm a Native American actress and filmmaker, so oh. I do that a lot. Mm -hmm. But then I have all these fun things in between. And uh, all right. Um, it's my phone that I didn't get to turn off. <laughs> oh, is there a phone? It's my phone. I thought it, I thought, I thought it was <laughs> a Tibetan gong. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, Yay. Okay. Um, Peter Coca? Thank you. Uh, Tiger? Thank you. Go, oh, Peter. It's a dark, dark age, man. I'm telling you, it's a dark, dark age. And there ain't no Buddha or Christ around. It's a dark, dark age, man. Poor people working their fingers down to the bone while the fat cats get fat and wave their flags at us, telling us to tighten our belts. There's more to come. It's a dark, dark dark age. Kids into drive-bys while the fat cat's into fly-bys. It's a dark, dark age, man. Look around you. Schools are tumbling down to the ground while prisons are being built like wildfire. It's a dark, dark age, man. There are more people locked up behind bars today than ever before. And crime is down. And it'll keep on going down. The more people we lock up, the more crime will go down and down and down and down and down until there's no one else to lock up but you. You're the only one left to commit a crime. And it's got to be committed against you. You're the only one left. So now you got to become your own judge, jury, uh, build your own jails, uh, be your own jailer, lock yourself up, let yourself out, in and out, in and out, in and out. An old yogi once said that we are all born with a certain amount of breaths. And the deeper we breathe, the longer we live. And the longer we live, the more we can lock ourselves up, let ourselves out, in and out, in and out, in and out, right up until we die, in and out, in and out. When Jesus yelled out, Father, why have you forsaken me? Was he talking to himself? And were the lost years of Christ his stepping stones to enlightenment and the cross, the icing on the cake? It's a dark, dark age, man. I'm telling you, it's a dark, dark age. Poor people like pieces of raw meat thrown into the fat cat's cage. It's a dark, dark age. Thank you, John. Thank you, Peter. That was Peter Coca. He's gonna, we'll speak to him in a moment here. Uh, it's a dark age, John. I'm telling you, it's a dark goddamn age. Oh, But dude, you know that. I don't know if it's dark. It's, we, we're living in a, uh, interesting times, as in the Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. Is that how you put it, huh, John? Yeah. Am I doing this right here, We're living here, in, a, in a period of, you know, uh, Am I doing this right, like, John? Right here, on this lapel here. I, I can't open it up. The lapel's the right thing, but it's just why I open it up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know, and I don't think it opens up. Maybe I'll hold okay. it like this. So I'll hold it. I'll hold it like this. This be nice, okay. right? Yes. You hold yours, too. Why should I just hold mine while you're holding it? Well, mine you usually, actually, you know on? what? Mine usually goes up the inside of my shirt, but I guess... Your I, kid I guess will I'm take off your shirt, John. Yeah. I saw that built of yours. No it's wonderful, John. You've got a wonderful built, man. Are Jeez, I've known me? you when you were about 20, right? And even then, I was soft in the middle, even though my father and my son were both born with genetic six-packs. <laughs> You're absolutely right, but I always remember you being thin, too. Ah, uh, yes, but even then, I was still soft in the middle. I, really? I, I never yes. noticed that, yeah. you know? Although your father was... Let me put it this way, I've been, in, I've been in all those erotic thrillers, you know, those B-movies. Right. They never wanted, I was always the lawyer, the, I would, they never wanted to see me with my shirt off, believe me. 
You're kidding. Yeah. Now, now no, I'm You learn something new every day. Yeah, I went well, long. I know you. Now, 20, of course, I'm covered years. with, with ink. Because, Look at that. You, know, you yeah. got a perfect bar. Go take your shirt off. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. There's <laughs> art hanging there now. There's art hanging exactly. out there. <laughs> a lot of beer, too? I got them all after 50. 50? Yeah. How you been, man? As midlife crises go, it was much cheaper than a sports car. I think so, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's so, going on either, so we both don't know what's I, going I, on, you I know? suspect what happened is somebody decided we're going to a half hour instead of an hour at the last, at the, in the final moments before nobody told me. Okay. So, what All do right, I, what, so, so, so now you could tell so, me. They told you, so now you could tell me. All right, now, now this is getting interesting, John. Just now I want you to take hey. your shirt off. So does he, you know? Do you, you know this guy? Right. Huh? Do you know this guy? I am in the foggiest who the hell he is, man. I mean, who, who okay, knows this know guy, him. you know? I just broke out of Mormon jail just now. <laughs> what? Mormon jail? Yeah, they're teaching me how to get sex and read, but I'm not doing Get sex really and job. breathe. Read. Yeah. Read? Well, i got to read sometimes. Yes. Oh, I, but I sex and that. breathe is good. you got to have the right breath moment Joseph when Smith didn't sucks. have to know how to read. No, neither did Brigham Young. That's where you go. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Sure, take go your ahead. Take off. your shirt off. Yeah. So no, to no, John you shouldn't John. because no, try to talk John into taking. You should take your shirt off. Anybody who wants to take their shirt off should be disallowed. Okay, well, you really? I'll you take my shirt off. It's like it's like it's like your shirt off. Are you familiar with the Ig Nobel Awards? I'm a cyber boy. Cyber boy. What does that mean? From Mormon town. Well, they said I couldn't have any technology, so bang, snuck it out. Where? What? That's those are the Amish. Hey. What? Mormons have nothing when against you technology. Wives, you come talk to me. When you get a cold to sack of eight wives between you and kiss me on strawberry ooh, banana, you go ahead and come You know to what? Me. I, I'm quite I'm certain ooh, that ooh, more than one wife is one of those things that might look good on paper. Feel good. We're all straight men here, right? We're straight. Uh, We're hetero men here. Well, which we does that really make a yeah, difference? Let's, let's does that go make a difference? Let's status quo and get married as straight men just you getting know? married for no big deal. Is that all right? You know, it's, it, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. you know, uh, uh, my ex-wife and I, 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 I dragged my feet for like five or six years, uh, never got around to getting divorced, and yeah. when people asked me why not, I said, because, you know that, that six-month six month waiting period? Mm. That, that should be on the front, front end, not on the back, back end. end. And this, and this way, if I lose my mind and want to get married again, it'll take me at least six months to get a divorce. Yeah. And I'll effectively have that six-month having up front, because believe Hey man, I feel like I've been beamed down to another planet with you guys. Go ahead. You're on my yet. Right. Thank you. Can you make something wait six months to get a report out of that? And let's let's get this serious a little. That painting is really beautiful. That's really really beautiful. I mean, no, really, never, really beautiful. I've never seen such high you know? quality of art in my life. And that's really great. That's really beautiful. Really Being beautiful. In prison, you know? in the Mormon Just section. sitting here what, looking what, what, at that so what, okay. is worth the whole all right, thing. All right, let's cut to the chase here. Yeah. What happened? You got you got picked up for uh, uh, jaywalking in uh, you, in Salt Lake because Jeez. I've been to Salt Lake, and if you jaywalk, they look at you like you're committing a murder in the middle of the street. I once drove, drove a truck through there in a snowstorm, man. I ended up in a goddamn garbage jump. Yeah, I, I don't know how What happened? Like that. I'll tell you. I got yeah. picked up because I was out in the street. The cops uh, beat the hell out of me. They said I wouldn't stop doing it. I just kept doing Where? it. Where? Doing what? It's Salt Lake? It? No, 6th Street. Down here? Yeah. It's like 3 in the morning near that apartment. How'd the Mormons enter into this? Well, I'll tell so you So you what. start here, John, you yeah. go over there, and then you backtrack a little. I <laughs> became a Mormon after I got rescued, and I said, hey, I value it. It's the knowledge of learning, you know what I mean? And it's uh, what you want to do. And they're like, yeah, time for prison. So I went to Mormon prison. They taught me how to please those wives. So they cut you down. Wait a minute, you really got, you got the Mormon prison the and got, right you know, just kept getting of, laid in Marcel Mormon prison? Some of the nicest people I know are Mormons. Name uh, one. Uh, I'd rather not. But okay. I, some of the, no, trust I, me, some of the nicest people, people I know I'm are Mormons. I don't even know. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a name. I, know I, know. I dated this girl, Catherine. Her mother had been excommunicated from Charity the church, from the Mormon church, for sleeping with three out of twelve of the quorum of the twelve. 
She was making her way through the all yeah, I male yeah. inner power circle of that organization. Well, if she's excommunicated, she's not really a Mormon, well, right? Well, you two boys are really I, uh, When she told me that, I said, I Catherine, I admire you your mother. I That's go to initiative. I know you guys want to cram some cigars up your butt. This has been L.A. Art Stream with Peter. Wait Peter. a second, wait a wait second. I thought there was a shooting in front of the comedy store. Hey, they got killed. There, is, there was a shooting in yeah, front of the comedy store? All right. That's it, we're done. Funny isn't even funny. You're done. We're yeah, not done. Funny anymore. All right. Uh, well, we're we weren't trying to be funny. I'm Once sure. again, we're going to hear from Eloy Torres. I'm still painting, looking for a color that will turn me on. Manipulating, pushing paint, it's my crossword puzzle. A brush stroke here, another there, I'm not quite sure it's working. Bring the wine and appetizers, hide the good stuff for collectors. I can show the Warhol series, we can move some art today. No sneak peeks allowed You can see it till it's done I have a tantrum, yell out loud It doesn't solve my problem I throw some paint across the room I love how it splatters on the wall Bring the wine and appetizers Hide the good stuff for collectors I can show the Warhol series and we can move some art today. And I will keep on painting. What else am I going to do? Now you want to see more overlapping colors. So many things get in the way. I keep searching, it's what keeps it all so new I won't stay stagnant, it's not me, I won't be told what to do Life's a movie with many themes, just open up and let it in Bring the wine and appetizers, hide the good stuff for collectors I can show the Warhol series and we can move some art today and I will keep on painting What else am I going to do? Now you want to see more overlapping colors So many things get in the way But it's okay